The November 13th issue of Time Magazine highlighted the best inventions of 2006. I think you'll be interested. Hi, Joe Stoll here with Daily Strength. Our verse for today, Psalm 139.14, where the psalmist says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Well, topping the best inventions of 2006 list was the online video sharing service called YouTube. Uh, Other tech marvels included, get this, a 130-mile-per-hour electric roadster. I'd like to be driving that. Or a mattress that uses magnets to levitate 16 inches above the floor. A battery-powered inflatable pool lounger. And a wall-mounted magic mirror. (laughs) When the mirror is connected to the electronic gadgets in your home, an ethereal face appears in this mirror to announce that your hot tub is ready or that someone has pulled into your driveway. I have to tell you that I'm not personally interested in the newly bred hypoallergenic cat, but the new vending machine that actually mixes, freezes, and dispenses fresh ice cream in 45 seconds. Hey, that's got my attention. Well, Bill Gates puts all of this engineering and innovation into an important perspective. In the book, The Road Ahead, Bill Gates states, quote, Human DNA is like a computer program, but far, far more advanced than any software ever created, close quote. Think about it. Your DNA has been there since the moment you were conceived. And it stipulates your hair color how tall you're going to be, and the shape of your nose. Your DNA uniquely marks you and provides a clearly traceable link back through your family heritage. God has endowed the very building blocks of your genetic material with a level of sophistication and complexity that is infinitely beyond the imaginations of science's best and brightest minds. God's attention to detail and intriguing creativity is so powerful that it can even silence the most skeptical heart. Millennia before the discovery of DNA, the psalmist praised God for his detailed design in our lives. Numerous psalms sing the praises of God's handiwork in creation, magnificent oceans, star-streaked heavens, and majestic mountains. But in Psalm 139, The writer exults in the intimate work of God in creating your life and mine. His praise is personal. He said, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. He is aware that God's creation is not only grand and vast, but infinitely, wonderfully specific. You know, that encourages me in so many ways. It reminds me that I am not a random, accidental meeting of genetic material. God knew me, orchestrated the details of my DNA, and is carrying out His plans for my life. And you are not an accident either. Like the psalmist, you were fearfully and wonderfully made. Your life has the full attention of the Creator of the universe, and, best of all, you are precious to Him. I'm also encouraged to realize that God has given this much attention not only to you, but think about it, to every single one of the six billion people on this planet. He wrote everyone's genetic code. He knows everyone's parents' names, their families, their hurts, their joys, and their needs. He has a specific love for each human who walks this planet, and he proved it by sending Jesus to die for their sins, just as Jesus died for yours and for mine, because all of us are fearfully and wonderfully made. So even as we eagerly anticipate and enjoy the latest technology, the real marvel and wonder in our lives should be reserved for the master creator and designer and the one who knitted us together and gave us life. Quite honestly, no technological advance, regardless of how spectacular it may be, can even come close to what God has done in creating you. And even if it did, it wouldn't care for you and it wouldn't love you. I'll be forever grateful that God's amazing design for us is not only high-tech, but high-touch as well.